when an adult call you ugly, it don't mean shit, right? Right? But when a kid call you ugly, that shit is definitely true. You want an ugly motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> if one of y'all teachers, if one of y'all those seven, seven year olds call you ugly, you know you motherfucking ugly. <laughs> so the same thing with being a bitch. If like, if don't call you a bitch, don't mean nothing, you know, whatever. Six of them may break my bones, whatever, fuck that. But if a kid call you a bitch, that means they got some insight on your life that you don't <laughs> That means that there's something about you that you don't even know about yourself. <laughs> and I just can't live with that, it just wouldn't work. But yeah, my son, he also likes, he also likes to use two words, ill and nasty. And he uses it in the most dramatic fucking way possible. Like, imagine if you drop something and he's just like, ill, like comedic, like, like cartoon levels of ill. You think that's, it's not that bad, right? But he doesn't use it in context. He only says ill and nasty when he's staring at random white people at the grocery store. <laughs> Just that, 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 ill. That, 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 ill. And I have never bowed and apologized to so many motherfucking white people in the matter of 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> you would think it was 1937 Jim Crow, the way I'm just, I saw her, I saw her, so I miss, I saw her, and he know better, I promise, I'll teach him better, don't tell, don't tell, I promise, it'll be all right. <laughs> just real insane behavior. And honestly, my stepdaughter ain't no better. I'm happy to say she's my stepdaughter, because, you know, that means not everything is on me, kind of, it's kind of her dad. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me though. Like my son likes to treat me like I'm one of her friends who just knows everything. So she just asks me the craziest shit. Like at first it was simple shit. Like, hey Melvin, were iPads a thing when you're a kid? And I'm like, bitch, no. But I'm not old. Like, don't do that. Like, I know what you're going for, and you're not about to succeed. Stop it. But now she comes to me saying the weirdest shit. She'll just be like, hey Melvin, what's a gangbang? <laughs> And her name is Bella. I'm like, Bella, have a seat right here. I don't know what the motherfucking kids at uh, the Boys and Girls Club is teaching you, but uh, a gangbang is when your dad and all of his friends hang out at church and pray really, really hard to <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the fuck to tell. I didn't know what to ruin her childhood, so I gave her the most like, Disney Channel answer I could give her. I, there's nothing about a gangbang that would interest you, stay away from it. Yeah. I just wanna take care of her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Me and my wife have been arguing a lot ever since a new baby's been born. And apparently, I am inconsiderate, I am selfish because I like to drink all of her breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not inconsiderate, that's not selfish. Y'all know the benefits that breast milk have? Do y'all know about this? Also, look, nice white lady right there. You know how you know. So you know, like, it can, it's good for your skin. Like, it's, it's, it's good for your immune system. It does beautiful things for your body. And I have much more value on this earth than a five-week-old five kid. I'm sorry. I love her dearly, but I have more to offer to the, the society than she does. She can't even get a job. So, and you know, my wife went to just tell you, like, oh, it's for the baby. You shouldn't be drinking it. And I'm just like, why would I buy some milk from the store when we got the cow at home? Yeah, she ain't, yeah, yeah, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she I was in full comedian mode, she ain't like that shit at all. Like, she's trying to say shit like, it's for the baby, but I'm like, you put it in my refrigerator. If I put $20 in your wallet, I can't get mad if you spend it, right? No, exactly, if you wanna go on lunch and get a with Chipotle, you can do that, because it's your money now, same thing. Uh, moral of that story is, I won the battle, but I lost the war. So y'all some nice looking people. If any of y'all got a couch for me to stay on for a couple of nights, I'm going to get on my feet. Just know I got you. You know what I mean? <laughs> when it's comedy shit, take off, I'll take care of you. You know what I mean? I remember that, I remember that swole nigga in front gave me how to sleep on So I'm going to get him some shirts that fit a little bit better. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to end it with this. I was jerking off recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys hear a lot about that as teachers, you know. All these students are talking about jerking off. And um, I stumbled upon some of the wildest shit ever. It is a white chick that only fucks black dudes, but she refers to it as paying reparations. Yeah. <laughs> and if that's not the sexiest, most racist shit I have ever heard, like. <laughs> I have never been so motherfucking aggressive while busting a nut. Like, I was so fucking angry. 
Like, I know Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all my ancestors was looking down on me with disappointment, but I'm just like, hey, she can ride a dick, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my time, y'all. My name is Malcolm Stewart. Thank you so much.